So this is going to, yeah, draw a black thing. We want this now not to be, we don't have to make this based on the value. This can just be, blue. We, we, we said light blue, so let's do um, 7 point, 7 point, oops, 0 point 0.7, 0 point 0.7, uh, 1 point. Let's try that. So that's like a, maybe a pastel blue. Maybe I should even make it 0 0.9. Let's see what it looks like though. Um, yeah, and we can leave it transparent for now. I think that's okay. Let me see what happens. So that was all cosmetic. The problem still exists, but you know, we're gonna figure it out. So that's what you get. And the text is way off now. So what did we do that made the text go so far off? And it doesn't look like it changes ever now. Weird, no? Oh, there it changed. One, two. So this is the, looks like it's only drawing the most significant digit. Ah, you know what it is. I think I know what it is. Yep, it's only drawing the most significant digit. So this is a format string problem, and we've dealt with those extensively in the last video. So we can figure this out. Um, or ah, yeah. Well, now you see. The rect that we've been using is no longer valid, the thumb rect. So we need a text rect. Let's do cg rect text rect equals cg rect make. We want just 0, 0, and then we want the complete width, which is now the height um, of the slider, of the thumb. OK, thumb height. So we have thumb rec dot size dot height thumb rec dot size dot width. Yeah. And that becomes important because it depends where the thing gets centered, which is probably where we're seeing the problem. Alright, this might fix everything. We might have had the correct thing all along. Um, they're saying text rec is not used. Thank you, warnings. This is why it's good to have your warnings clear. So when you get one, uh, when you get a new one, you can see it and it can save you some pain like it did here. So that looks pretty good. We're a little high, it seems. But this is starting to look pretty good. Our blue is purple. Um, not sure why that is, but it's probably due to, no, I have no idea why it wouldn't be blue. Okay. What was I about to do? Three is a little high. Let's make it two. Maybe even one. I don't know. Um... So RGB, right? RGB. Yeah. I don't know. We make this a lot smaller. Does that help? Maybe even two. Okay. 
We could draw it as a round rectangle too. That might fix everything actually. There used to be a round rectangle call. How's that look? The slider is very different now, depending on where you put it because of the alpha. I don't know if I like that. Because it doesn't really look good at the top, for example. It doesn't really look like a slider to me. Let's make it a round rectangle and see what we can do with that. But I think I'm going to change this blue value. There's a little too much red in there for me, so I'm going to make that a little more. Yeah. Um. What was I doing? <laughs> That's a total space out right there. Okay. Was about to look into the round rectangle. So CG context, you but in quick draw, I don't know how many of you are into Mac OS nine development anymore, but it used to be that there was a whole bunch of library calls in quick draw that would do stuff. One of them drew a round rect. So is there a round? Let's see round. Uh, what's this? Sets the style for endpoints drawn in a graphics context. Whoa. Yeah, it looks like there's some fancy stuff. Um, line dash. Huh. Join bevel. Oh, this is all, this all looks great. Um, Let's, I don't know what a line cap is compared to a line join. But line join sounds way better, so let's do that. Let's just try it. Yeah, so what do we want to do right here? Right here is a Rijala Rect, so let's do it right above that. CG context set line join context k cg line join round that's so nice that that would do the trick we don't have to do anything at all pretty much it sounds like it would do something cool anyway let's see Oh, that looks exactly the same. Can't say I'm surprised though. Yep. <laughs> Nothing different about that. So, this doesn't do what we thought it would. Uh, we can try change this to, what's the other one? one above all this. The pain. Set line cap.
try that. Just for fun. I have now no belief that will do what we want, but if it did, man, and it doesn't. All right, let's see what they have. CG context round rectangle. Ah, there's one right there. How to draw a rounded rectangle. Okay, there's no, well, this guy said there's no prepackaged way. You gotta use arcs, which isn't so hard to do. But it's gonna be that many more Oh, look at that. Busier path with rounded rect. Let's try that. Um, how do you get the CG? This looks interesting. Let's look at that. Yes. Returns a Bezier path. And the Bezier path. Can we just add that? to the path. Oh, here's some Korean. Yeah, it looks like the path is possibly, I don't know, that probably adds to the current context, right? Where's the Apple Docs? I just want to see what that path is. Alright, it inherits from NS objects, so it's not a CG context add path kind of thing. Yeah, we need a CG path there. Is there a 